Is there a moment on the Black Album that you're most proud of or most excited for people to hear? Oh, I think the whole thing, honestly. Um, there's something about Byzantine that I find myself humming along to, and the guitar part I played in the chorus is, is equally as catchy as the melody itself. Um, and I just, I can't, you know, with the day and age of, um, of social media and people being able to comment and, and I don't know what the word, wording used, but a lot of it is negative comments. Um, I expect a lot of that, but ever since that has been a thing, it's just been this polarizing, um, polarizing opinions of, of what we're doing and, 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 you know, trying to do new things. And, uh, it's just, it's just amazing. So, um, it doesn't really matter what, what I think. I mean, it matters. <laughs> doesn't matter what they think to me, but um, somebody here is like, when I'm like oh, they're going to love Byzantine. Um, they might not, you know? <laughs> so I guess I'm kind of interested to, for them to hear it just to see the, all the negative shit people are going to write about it. Yeah. Because I know deep down, it's like, they, they don't understand the depth of it. You know, somebody's going to write, you know, something super negative. I, there's just so much, like, it's like people are like, this isn't your mind, this isn't the nostalgic Weezer I grew up with, or, you know, uh, these lyrics I don't understand, or these sounds are not, like, what I'm used to, or whatever whatever anyone wants to find, they'll find. And then, you know, then there'll be the other people that will be like, I love where they're, you know, they're being adventuresome, and these lyrics are amazing, and blah, 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 you know. Um, it's just going to be interesting, because it's, it's a very eclectic record, um, and not every song, like, even sounds alike, you know. Um, I saw the SNL skit for the first time while I was mm -hmm. researching for this interview. And, okay. And I do feel yeah, like... Yeah, that was very bizarre to, to watch live. Uh, I, knew it was, I knew we were going to be on it. I didn't know what. And it's just like, when is this going to stop? They're still, they're still talking about his help. I didn't know it was going to be a full skit. Um, it was like time stand stood still for me while I was listening to it. I'm like, wow, that was bizarre. And it was like they just opened up a Weezer fan, fan form and just, just verbatim wrote down what people say. And, you know, one people, you know, the Leslie Jones character was on the negative side and the Matt Damon character was on the positive side. And, and it, was, uh, it kind of wrote itself. Um, people seemed to really like it. For me, it was just like, oh, brother, help me. Um, but... <laughs> It's definitely, you know, when you make an SNL, you're like some, some, doing something right, I guess. Like, uh, and, and that's maybe more notoriety than I, than I asked for. Um, but, um, you know, you can't ask for better publicity than that. Yeah. And the whole skit written, written about you. What is going on? <laughs> Weezer does seem to have these... Uh almost like its own mythos that kind of follows it around to where I feel like if you release the Black Album without the name Weezer, people would just think it was a great fucking album and wouldn't think of it. It would be an amazing um, experiment. I think so. It would be an amazing experiment. You're absolutely right. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, we put too much work into it to not let people know who did it. But it would be a very good experiment. I think you're on to something there. Yeah. Thanks for watching. And if you want more music news, just subscribe to Ultimate Guitar TV and press that little bell to get notifications.